Ads are everywhere. I, like most people, try my best to protect myself from them. But they're everywhere, always following my every single move. There's no escape! Except for this, uh, this baby that's singing near me. That looks sick. I will be attending that. But I've been wondering, what if for a single week, I just bought every single ad that I saw? It could be a Lamborghini. It could be a Tesla. It could be whatever this man needs to stop sharding himself. Did I, uh, forget to mention I'm in Japan? I'm in Japan! Let's begin. I have been absolutely haunted by these ads for something called Gosso. And all the ads are like some dude who looks like Drake if he never had a one dance. And I soon realized it's nose hair remover. Did I forget to mention that I'm gonna use every single product? Gosso time! We're about to find out if I'm going to make this face or just fucking die. How many nostrils do they think I have? The translation says, warm in the microwave, put it in your nose. Just pull it out vigorously. Just rip out half of the tissue from your nose. Just vigorously. Ooh, this smells like cancer. <laughs> fuck, fuck. <laughs> All right, here goes nothing. Oh! They're really in there just mixing and mingling with my nostril hair. I feel like with my luck, I'm gonna be the first person to like die from Gosso. They're gonna, like sponsor my tombstone. I'm gonna do both, because if I do one and it's absolutely excruciating, I'm not gonna be able to do the other one. So three, two, one. <laughs> Cover your eyes for the next 10 seconds if you don't wanna see, but I'm about to show you. <laughs> now the next thing I, I got an ad for technically was um these crabs and and my Canadian brain my my half Caucasian brain was like surely people do not eat these but oh surely they do surely they do yes life has gotten to the point where I'm eating whole dried crabs in bed <laughs> <laughs> uh. that's the fucking cast of crab ray <laughs> Also, before we continue, I just want to let the record say I'm not a hardcore Christian. I'm a hardcore Christian Bale fan. <laughs> this is really fucking demonic. <laughs> <laughs> Moving on. Now I got a tick. <laughs> I got a TikTok ad for Biore pore strips, and you might think, ah, skip, skip, two minutes ahead. Boring. Let's see Ben uh, drink nuclear reactor fluid. Here's the ad. So in countless obstacles of me this year, from a school shooting to having no idea what life is going to look like after college. Supportive Mental Health Awareness Month, I'm partnering with Biore Skincare to strip away the stigma of anxiety. <laughs> Well, folks, we have reached the end of capitalism, uh, but I do have some clogged pores, so I'm gonna go get some. All right, um, she looks like the aliens from Avatar, but this should better actually, like, annihilate every insecurity that I have in my face. I don't even know what this does. All right, I have to wet my nose first. Did I just finish eating Doritos and I just washed my nose with my Dorito fingers? Yes, because I don't, because skincare's a fucking scam. Anxiety, you're done with, baby. All right, I gotta wait 10 minutes. All right, it's been 10 minutes. Oh! That did nothing. Here's like a macro picture of what it ripped off. That's, that's disgusting. However, when I was waiting around to rip this off, I got an ad on TikTok. I don't know why I'm acting like that's a big thing. But I got one for an Omato phone. It is the coolest, most awesome, most lit thing ever that I've always wanted. And now I finally have an excuse to buy one. The ad was on AliExpress, but the last time I used AliExpress for anything was when I ordered fake Yeezys in grade nine. Um, and they ended up looking like this. So fuck that website. We're going to go to the store and try and find one. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Look at him. Everything I've been through has come to this moment. I have stayed alive for this moment. Let's hit the streets, baby. I'm gonna make it big! Okay.
Okay, it's gonna take some time to master, but uh, anyway. Also in the store was these little piggies. These little piggies. And I thought, oh, that's cute. And also I'm seeing an ad for it. There's an ad next to the piggies. New piggy toy unlock. Wrong, Bozo. Butakuni Pero Pero. Anybody that speak piggish, let me know. Is this like a headphone jack? Oh, I think it's like a Bluetooth speaker. All right, it's charged now. And if you take off Piggy's pants, there's like... So I guess they made a new Fast and Furious movie for the 947th billionth time. And for some reason in Japan, it's called Fire Boost. I would rather drink flaming gasoline uh, and pour it down my esophagus than watch Fast and the Furious Flaming Boost. So as an alternative, I actually found Fast and Furious Energy Drink. Ugh. Hell yeah, brother. Fast and Furious with the fucking boy. Thought I could crack it open with my head. <laughs> this tastes like if they made Red Bull, but with like 50% more urine in it. So that drink made it humanly impossible for me to sleep, but I ended up watching YouTube videos and got an ad from like another YouTuber. It's like this unboxing YouTuber. I'm here with my sus wife, Laura. I'm here with my imposter of a husband, Nathan. And we're here with some brand new Among Us figural keychains. Yay! <laughs> I know they were advertising their channel um, as two sus, sus spouses that unbox things, but I was more interested in the keychain. So I went on and bought one. Wow, Among Us! Anyways, next, I was legally, legally trying to watch Despicable Me 2 on this totally legal website. And there were so many ads, but going like clockwise, I guess this was the first ad that I saw. And when I translated it, it said Bing Story, No Limit for Men, and Cordyceps. So I'm either going to become John Cena, uh, have super powers, or become a Last yeah. of Us zombie, or all three. I don't know, but I found it at a drugstore. This is so mysterious. These have the softest smell stench of beef. But... What are these? I have no clue what these are. Yeah, update. They're the pills that. Yeah, they were laxatives. At least I think. I mean, dairy makes me sharp myself, so it could have been something else too. I took a while off from making this video to heal the trauma, but then I got an Amazon ad for it. Uh, this, like, I don't know. I think it's like one of those like pseudo plastic surgery things to like tighten your uh, muscles and sh I don't know. I don't trust it that much because the model in the picture was wearing a shirt that said Balenciaga. Not much, not much to say about this, uh, except when the Amazon delivery guy dropped it off, I was naked. And finally, I got an ad for a mask that lights up and you can write messages on it because the future is now, baby. But I'm not wearing no fucking mask because COVID was a scam. It was a lie. Me like making that joke like I didn't interview the head of the CDC for the White House. What vaccine did you get, Ben? I am Moderna. I got Moderna too. So, okay. What? Anyways, that was another life. <laughs> what did we learn today, mamas? Besides absolutely nothing, there's no joy to be found in mindless consumerism. Unless it's one of these. Subscribe.